this person coming through, and I don't know what this would be in the way this is coming across, but I almost feel like I don't know if people acknowledge that this person was invincible or that they thought that they were invincible or what this is in the way this is coming through, but I basically have to bring up um, someone that I would be acknowledging as being passed away. The feeling is life gets cut too short or like someone passes away before their time, either middle age or earlier. Definitely, yes. Okay. I'm snapping my fingers at this when I'm talking about the timing of this passing. The feeling is like this is someone who's strong, who shouldn't pass away when they do. And there's that a could make a lot of sense. Okay. Um, I really want to emphasize like physical fitness, strength, like I'm saying punching bags. This thing's very physically, physically strong. Um, in this way, which makes it kind of strange that this person would pass when they do. There's a reference to cardiac arrest, cardiac arrest, cardiac arrest, as in like someone having a heart attack, a sudden. That's, that's, stuff makes sense. There's a reference to Las Vegas, and I need to get this out. With the person that you're thinking of, do you know if there were any trips to Las Vegas together? If you oh, and this person- I, Las Vegas makes a lot of sense for that guy. Um, his name is Mike Lemke. He was a fr friend of mine, we, we fought together. We both fought out there, um, and uh, it was one of the things, it was a shock. I mean, he was a young kid, and uh, he was sparring with a friend of his, and uh, you know, he got hit, didn't feel good, walked to the side of the lane, and hit the floor. Had a heart, had a heart, right. heart attack. And then I'm around kids, okay? And I'm teaching, no. I would wonder what this is. I would be curious to see if he was ever involved with anyone who like taught kids, or was around like, teaching kids how to do this or inspiring kids. I'm seeing kids around this, but yeah. he's placing kids around it for some reason. Yeah, he had, he had a school. Was he like a mentor? Like, would he teach these kids how to do what he did? Yeah, he was, a, he was, a, he was an instructor. Okay. He moved down to Santa Barbara and opened a school down there and was training. You know, when he came through, he acknowledged being at peace. He felt like, you know, he had that sense of humor coming through. He was, you know, pretty, pretty strong man when he connected. I think for him, he lived an amazing life and he got to do what he loved <laughs> and that's how he'll be remembered and I think for him when he came through the feeling was that he was putting himself around kids and he viewed kids as being something that he was really valuing and viewed as important for him when it came to his legacy being continued on and I think that that it's kind of interesting that you know he had this whole learning facility that he was able to kind of use. My, Mike Lampy died of his 20s was a good friend of mine who was just you know was one of those guys one of those friends that he'd been with hang out with, we used to tra train together. The funny thing is coming back to this, I haven't really thought about him for a long time. It, it was interesting, it made me, made me think, it made me remind me of him, you know, think about him again. You know, I kind of kind of buried it a little bit a while back, but, uh, you know, it, it, was, it, was, it was cool, cool to have that come up.